Yeah, Carson, uh, first of all, what does it, what does it mean to you uh, just to be able to wear the, the Navigators jersey and play hockey here where, where Dad spent so many years? I mean, means a lot. Uh, I grew up uh, all around the team. Like, I gave them fist bumps after every game, after they won uh, growing up, and I, I really looked up to them, so it meant, means a lot to uh, play for them now. Yeah, just uh, take me into the the opportunity and the decision to come up here to Peace River and a chance to play for them. Yeah, I started the year out in BC and um, I just, uh, I wasn't loving it out in BC and I got an opportunity to come back a lot closer to home and play for the team I grew up watching. So I took it and yeah, I've loved it. When you walk up to the rink and you see that statue of dad, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. It's a lot smaller. Then uh, the statue's a lot smaller than I remember him, but yeah, no, it's it's pretty special how much uh, that the town did that and what it means. Yeah, when you walk into the dressing room and you see his fingerprints everywhere and just the memories, uh, what goes through your mind? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, it's pretty cool just that uh, they've honored and respected how he did things for so many years and just kept a lot of his traditions going, which I really appreciate. Yeah, um, Carson, not an easy day. You know, April 6th, uh, I'm sure it's very few people can imagine what it's been like for you to, to process and walk through that journey. Uh, what's the journey been like for you since that day? Oh, it's, it's been long. Like, it's, it's been good. Like, my mom has supported me in so many ways, and she's done such a great job. I can't thank her enough for what she's done. And then... Yeah, just me and I think it brought me and my brother closer. He's my best friend still to this day, and yeah, it's, it hasn't been easy. But I don't like to pity myself or take any uh, what's the word? No, uh, no disadvantage. Or just like to be treated like normal. Absolutely. Uh, I, I remember back um, when I interviewed your mom a number of years ago, and she talked about that day when it happened, and she said just the maturity and strength from you and Jackson that you, you drew together. Um, is, is that something that uh, Dad maybe instilled in you and just the family to be able to you know, fight through difficult circumstances? I think so. I think everything I remember about him was, was just always calm, level-headed, you know, no matter what... Uh, difficulties it brought on so I think it kind of took a page out of this book and yeah. I've done some interviews with uh, some of the guys who, who've played for Darcy and they, they say the similar things that uh, Ty Weeb had mentioned that when he first met him at 16 he was intimidated by him because he's big and bald and they said it was kind of the opposite he was sort of the gentle giant is, is that re replicate what you saw? Oh yeah no I oh yeah he was very calm like even in his day to day life if he ever rose his voice or like got mad you were really scared but no he rarely ever did and he was always calm and cool and collected yeah um maybe just uh, speak a bit about you yeah your relationship with uh, with jackson and the two of you guys and and as you continue to go through the path jackson playing at prairie hockey academy and then yourself as well wearing the mat the navigators jersey what does that mean yeah, no, it was, it was pretty cool um, that I got to play with him last year and got to drive him to school every day, so that was always fun, him showing me all new music, and he usually took a nap in my car on the way to school, but no, he's my best friend, and I was so glad I got to spend that year with him, and yeah, he's, me and him will always be there for each other, and yeah, he means a lot to me. What do you want people to remember about Darcy or maybe even when they hear the Hogan name and then they run into you, what, what would you like people to, to, to know? Um, just the legacy my dad created and just how you treat people matters and that everyone, no matter who they are, there's respect and you treat everyone well, you treat everybody the same. Um, you're getting to play a game on April 6th. You have an opportunity to play for a provincial championship this weekend. Uh, how, how powerful is that moment to you and what, what are you going to do when you approach the game? Are you going to approach it any differently? Uh, I don't think so, honestly. I've been, I've been uh, kind of putting it off. I'm not going to deal with it until it comes and, you know, you know take it as it comes. And uh, Yeah, I think... I'll just deal with it once it comes, and I don't think I'm going to change anything in my day-to-day -day routine. Yeah. Go.
Rogers, and really appreciate your time and sharing this. I know it's not easy. Is there is there anything else just about uh, about Darcy or your mom or your family, and and yeah, maybe just a little bit about your mom and and seeing the strength that she's been able to, you know, walk with you guys and draw your family closer together. Yeah, no, she's been great. She's uh, supported me in everything I've done, and she's always had my corner, so I, I can't thank her enough, and I love her so much for that.